Welcome to the Temple Learning Tool for Homocystinuria, also known as HCU. Temple, Tools Enabling Metabolic Parents Learning, was developed in partnership with leading healthcare professionals at Nutrition Metabolics. Your baby may have been diagnosed with HCU. We are here to help you understand the diagnosis and what you can do to make sure your baby grows and develops just like any other bundle of joy. HCU is an inherited metabolic condition which stands for homocystinuria. In HCU, the body has trouble breaking down protein, which it needs to help grow and repair itself. Protein is made up of chains of smaller units called amino acids. Our body changes amino acids into other substances, or energy, with the help of enzymes. Think of enzymes like a pair of scissors. Individuals with HCU have a deficiency of an enzyme called cystothionine beta synthase, or CBS. The CBS enzyme is used in the body to break down an amino acid called methionine, or MET. When someone has HCU and can't break down methionine, this leads to the buildup of methionine and a substance called homocysteine in the body. The buildup can lead to nearsightedness and dislocated eye lenses, difficulties with learning and behavior, long and thin bones, blood clots, and strokes. HCU is screened through the newborn screening process and diagnosed by additional blood samples to measure the levels of methionine and homocysteine in the blood. Your clinician may conduct additional tests to confirm the diagnosis. How did your child get HCU? HCU is an inherited condition. There is nothing that could have been done to prevent HCU. Everyone has a pair of genes that make the cystothionine beta synthase enzyme. In children with HCU, neither of these genes works correctly. These children inherit one non-working HCU gene from each parent. Parents of children with HCU are carriers or have HCU themselves. Most people don't know they're carriers. When both parents are carriers, there is a 1 in 4 chance their child will inherit HCU. It is possible for a child to not be a carrier if they inherit a working gene from both parents. In some individuals with HCU, the enzyme only requires the help of a vitamin called vitamin B6 or pyridoxine together with folic acid to work properly. The vitamin helps the enzyme work better and, if successful, is the only management needed. Roughly 50% of individuals with HCU are responsive or partially responsive to vitamin B6 management. If the vitamin B6 does not help or only partially helps, HCU is managed through your baby's diet and regular blood testing. There are two main components to managing HCU through diet a methionine-restricted diet, and a special metabolic formula. Individuals with HCU may also be prescribed betaine, a drug designed to help lower blood levels of homocysteine. Even though methionine is dangerous for someone with HCU, it is essential for normal development. A limited and controlled amount must be taken daily. This means that your baby can only have a small amount of breast milk or standard infant formula. As your child gets older and starts eating regular food, foods that are high in protein must be avoided since all protein contains methionine. Your dietitian will tell you how much breast milk, infant formula, and foods with whole protein to feed your baby. As your baby starts to eat solids, your clinic will work with you to teach you how to track and limit intake of methionine. In addition to a methionine-restricted diet, a special metabolic formula is essential. This special formula is methionine-free, which means it does not contain the amino acid methionine, but provides otherwise all the necessary vitamins, minerals, protein, and energy your baby needs to grow. Your dietitian will determine how much metabolic formula to give your baby. To help add variety into your child's diet, Nutrition offers special low-protein foods including low-protein fruity cereals, animal pasta, and cake mix. 
You can also find a wide range of low-protein recipes at medicalfood.com forward slash recipes. For every child, regular checkups are essential. They are especially important for a child with HCU. During your clinic visit, your baby's height and weight will be measured. Blood tests will be taken to check amino acid and nutrient levels. You will review your child's blood tests, growth, development, and current diet and make adjustments to their diet accordingly. You can monitor HCU by completing regular home blood tests that you send to a laboratory for screening. Your metabolic dietitian will contact you with the results and discuss any changes in management. What happens if your baby gets sick? The risk of blood clots is increased with surgical procedures and illness. During any illness, after injury, or should your child need surgery, it is very important to notify your metabolic clinic immediately. The diet and or medications may be adjusted depending on the type of illness or injury. To review, HCU is a serious inherited metabolic disorder that can lead to a number of problems if unmanaged. You can manage it with a protein-restricted diet and a special metabolic formula. When your child is ill or not behaving as usual, it is imperative to contact your metabolic team immediately. They will determine the best course of action. Always ensure you have a good supply of special dietary products and metabolic formula and that they are not expired. Continue to give the amount of formula as prescribed by your metabolic clinic. And remember to always follow your metabolic team's recommendation to offer your child the best opportunity for normal growth and development. Finally, always have the contact details of your metabolic team. To learn more about HCU and how you can support your child, visit medicalfood.com. <laughs>